If you're anything like me, when it comes to planning content for YouTube, you have a million ideas on a billion scraps of paper or digital notebooks spread out all over the place. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to plan, organize, and schedule your YouTube content using one simple tool called Notion. Notion, as they say, is an all-in-one workspace that you can use either as an individual or with a team if you are at that level. It is a really customizable tool that you can use to make notes, databases, Kanban boards, to-do lists, pretty much anything that all these other apps do, you can just combine it all into Notion. For today's video though, we're just going to focus on how I use it to plan, organize, and schedule my YouTube content. So let's jump into my Notion area. So in my Notion setup, I have this page called Content Planning, and then within there, I have two sub pages. Instagram post ideas is something I'm currently trying out. At the moment, I use another tool for Instagram planning. So if you want to know about that, leave a comment down below and I will make a video on that for you. Within my video content creation page, I have this massive database, which is where I plan all my videos and all my ideas. So let me walk you through this. On the left, we have the video number. This is just so I can keep track of how many videos I've actually made on my YouTube channel. Then the next is the video title, but actually I should change this to video idea because I just literally write down whatever comes out of my head. And then the next part is the status column. And this is where I have different tags that I can tag the video with. The first one being the idea. This is just if I've, hey, that's a good idea. The next is when I actually start researching the video or outlining it, maybe write a few notes. The next part is filming. So this video here, how to plan your content in Notion, it's what I'm doing right now. So we can change that to filming. The other tags are to do with the editing process of the A roll and the B roll. Finally, when I've made the video and actually scheduled it, and then when it is on YouTube, published, live, it's already gone up. The next column is the filming date. And this is something that I've just recently started doing to kind of motivate me and organize me more to actually film the videos when I say I should film them. And here I can just select a date. Like if I want to film this video, I can just put the date, um, let's say the 24th of February. The next column is the publish date. Um, pretty self-explanatory. This video is going to go live on this date. The last column is the tags column. And this is where I just tag like the type of video it is. So using my content pillars, I've got YouTube tips and tricks, videography, Instagram tips and tricks, and social media psychology. And then also I have Monday or Thursday because again, generally I upload more social media related stuff on Monday and more creative or videography related stuff on Thursdays. If we go back up to the top where it says table all videos, you can actually change the view. So something I like to do is go to the calendar publish dates view. And this is just really easy if I decide like, oh, I'm not going to make this Taylor Swift video in time, I can just put it onto the next, like onto the 11th, and the pains of production can go on the 4th instead, something like that. It's just really easy to change the order, the schedule order, and customize it how I need it to be. Full disclaimer, I did not actually create this table from scratch. I actually used a template from another YouTuber, Thomas Frank. He is a big productivity YouTuber, so I will link his video down below and you can go there and find out more detail about Notion and also use his template. I found his template was quite complex for the level that I'm at because he works with a team and he has like a lot of extra steps. So I did delete and customize the template to make it more suitable for me, which of course you can do with his template as well. Now, if we actually go into the video title, you can open it as a page. And if you click open as page, it just goes to like the full page so you can see everything clearly. At the top again, there's just all the things from the table, like the status and the tags and so on. And then here at the bottom, this is where it gets really juicy, I feel. This is where it's so important. So. Again, this is the template from Thomas Frank. Some parts I use, some parts not so much. The part I always use is the keywords. Um, this is from my TubeBuddy research. I've just got some keywords that I'm gonna use in the tags and in the description of the video and hopefully things that I've said in the video. And then again, we've got an editing checklist, a publishing checklist, and 
like research notes and a script. Of course, I've told you before, I don't actually script my videos, but I do write a few general notes as you can see here. Like I've got my hook planned out, the intro, and then the content, I'm just, completely winging it from now on. If we go back to this part, there's a B-roll section and this is what I use and also what Thomas Frank uses when I watch the first cut of the video when I've already cut and edited the A-roll. I then think about, oh, like what, what type of B-roll do I need? For this video, it's going to be pretty simple because the B-roll is what you are currently seeing, which is the Notion website. But for some other videos, I might write something like, clip of me looking excited. I don't know if I need that for B-roll. And then when I watch the A-roll that I've edited, I will add the timestamp I want. So I don't know, maybe it's going to be at one minute 35. And then again, we've got a tag section and this is where I can tag it what I need to do if I need to film this video or if it's going to be like a screencast video and so on. And then I can edit it into the A-roll footage. Like I said, before I started using this system, I used a million different things. I had some notes on Google Sheets. I had some notes in Google Keep. I had scraps of paper all around the house and it was just not efficient. It was just not organized for me. But using Notion, I just have everything in one place and I know exactly where I need to go to find what I need to do. So tell me in the comments down below what you use to plan your YouTube content and will you now try Notion? Let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye.